never the same. And you just chase it. And then you start needing it. You don't want it, you need it. She lived to become a crusader against opiate addiction, but others not so fortunate. Tonight, shocking new figures from the state show overdose deaths here topped 1,000 last year. Heroin. Addicts say once the poison enters your body, your brain falls in love with it, and the habit is almost impossible to kick. Well, the 20-year-old heroin addict lives in her car and doesn't shy away from the fact that her addiction can and probably will kill her. But first, new at 10, from the overdoses to the drug-driven crimes. Another side of this growing problem, the family members who are also victims of their loved one's addictions. Two years later, all that's left of the 21-year-old are snapshots of her life and a painful reminder of her death. The opiate epidemic as it stands right now is as bad as I've ever seen it. And unfortunately, the indicators are that it'll continue this way through 2015, 16, and Hopefully, we'll start to turn in 17. Yeah, it's an epidemic. I mean, there's no question about it. We've been going through it for a long time. I think in the last year, people have labeled an epidemic. I've been talking about epidemics probably for the last 15 years. It's, it's bad. Uh, but I think, you know, more recently, uh, in the last, you know, five years, heroin is rampant. And, and when, you, when I think of heroin, I think of prescription drugs. Purdue Pharma introduced OxyContin in 1996. At the time, extended release opioid medications were mainly used to treat pain from cancer. Doctors had been avoiding long-term use of opioids for common problems like low back pain, headache, and fibromyalgia because these medications are highly addictive. To encourage wide-scale prescribing of OxyContin, Purdue Pharma's educational programs assured physicians that addiction was rare and that opioids were safe and effective for long-term use. And they also had salespeople that they had never done before. They hired real sexy looking women, women who have had no training whatsoever in the medical field, but they were good looking. They brought all kinds of samples for the doctors and the doctors liked talking to them. Larger territories to cover and customers who are busier and more distracted than ever. It's very important that our sales representatives are able to connect, engage, and educate each customer. Has a big drug company inadvertently gotten people hooked on heroin? Have you been prescribing oxycodone? The I-Team confronting a doctor charged with illegally prescribing powerful painkillers. Painkillers are at the heart of the drug epidemic here in Massachusetts. This chart shows you the number of deaths tied to opioids since 2000. Last year, we had more than 1,000. Purdue Pharma is the company that makes Oxycontin. And right now, they basically have the patent on that uh, medication. But they want to extend that patent by another six months because it's about to expire. So basically, uh, the FDA uh, has said that they can expand that patent if they can prove that the drug has use uh, among children. Pharmacy robberies are up more than 80% across the country. After a three-year period and more than 200 robberies, its numbers are decreasing. But that doesn't mean that pharmacy owners are letting down their guard. How many people do you know that have died from a drug overdose? Family or friends? A lot. 30, 40, 50. Personally, probably about 20 that I've known very, very well. And I lost too many people. Uh, family members, friends. Honestly, too many to count. I mean, this community alone has lost hundreds of lives. Hundreds. Just in this community.